So I just started walking up to her and gave her my signature Biden stare. It was all going according to plan, but then her dad came by, so I had to book it. Joe, you are lucky that you're the president. Who said I was the president at the time? Well, hello, everybody. Are you ready for me to completely destroy Kamala? More like we're ready for Kamala to completely whoop your spray tan ass to next week. Let's see where all that gutso goes when I beat her ass and get back to the White House. You talking all types of shit. I can't wait for the fucking debates where Kamala smokes your ass. Honestly. Well, as much as I want to continue with the Donald hate train, I can't wait to see the looks on your faces when I put down Kamala out of her misery. I can see that this isn't Spider-Man or Batman. You were seeing that too, George? I thought I was hallucinating again. Joe, remember to take your pills and please remember that they go in your mouth. That's fucking disgusting. To answer your question, George, I just wanted to come back to this game since we now have an extra player. Stop the cap, Obama. You're just salty that I, the greatest businessman, beat you and Joe's ass last time. Shit was rigged, I tell you. Now you know how I feel. Monopoly, huh? I can vibe with this, but why the digital version and not the game board? I'd rather not have to deal with Trump's cheating ass. He already does it with his businesses, and look where those went. Oh, fuck you! Yeah, that checks out. All right, but I call anything that resembles a plane. Would you like a twin tower with that? Joe, shut your mouth, or you'll be breathing through a tube. I just hope I get a good throw like last time. Even if you rig the dice throws again, the game will choose the winner, which will be me. You guys don't have the plane unlocked? My bad, George. You can choose the car instead. You're not JFK, but maybe you can imagine a car hitting Tower 7 instead of a plane. So what piece are you going to pick, Joe? I'll just choose the rabbit this time. Did you get sick of ice cream? I would never get sick of ice cream. Then why didn't you choose the ice cream cone? There was an ice cream one? But roll of the dice. Give it all you've got. No one is beating that. We'll see about that. What the fuck is this shit? That is hilarious. I can already tell this is going to be good. This is bullshit. Looks like the game is favoring us instead of you, Donald. Looks like I was able to beat your score, Barry. Not bad, and we even match your favorite day. Oh my god, I didn't even notice that. You'll see you cheating bastards. I'll take this win even when the whole game is against me. Good luck with that fat ass. I'll take any win with how the game is screwing with me. Also, I call dibs on the orange property. Wait, can I also call dibs on the brown property? I want to see how Barack grew up. You know, I did say that I was getting numb to these jokes, but I think I was just lying to myself. I think I may soon join in that boat, Barack. Ooh, can I also join in? I always wanted to snuggle in between two grown men. Joe, what the fuck? What type of pill did you take today? Now that you mention that, I do remember my pills being a different color. They even tasted funky. Oh, I think I know what pill he took. Donald, before I know what the pill was, why the fuck did you switch Joe's pills? He already functions horribly without them, so why make the problem worse? I take great offense to that. I just thought it'll make him sleepy and at worst give him a heart attack. Gives me a what? So are you going to tell us or are we going to pat this out more? Okay, I may have switched his pills with schizophrenia ones. Is that better or worse? I'll let you know that I haven't talked to my imaginary friends in over three days. Joe, that's nothing to brag about. Shut up, Big Lips. No one was talking to you. Now go back to picking cotton. Definitely better. Your turn starts now. There isn't a train. Obama, you better not. Too bad, Trump. I landed on it, so now it's my property. This isn't fair. I'm dead last and I'm barely landing on any properties. Should have tossed better now, Joe. Do you perhaps want to trade that pink? Yeah, pink is not really my color, but I do want something in return. I almost forgot we can trade properties with each other. Yeah, except for Donald. I earned this property fair and square, unlike you cheaters. Oh shit, you guys better watch out. Damn it, I was so close to getting it. Joe, you're not even halfway through the board. I would be if this game wasn't rigged. So it's rigged. You're really nitpicking anything at this point. He does have to practice for the debate. Either this debate shows who the better candidate is or it will just show us who the bigger clown is. My bet is on Donald since he already weighs the same as a baby elephant. I can't wait to show you haters how wrong you are for cheering on Kamala. Phil, what the hell? No, this game has to be rigged. 
Man, this might be my redemption arc I needed. The only redemption arc you need is that outfit arc. We all remember that tan suit. Honestly, that may be my second worst thing I have done. I thought bombing. Shut your mouth, Joe. Let's take a break. What the hell, Barry? Can we trade spots? I know you have more experience than me. You senile old fuck. How about you trade spots with the big orange? He's the most experienced right now. I ain't trading my freedom ever again. I never want to go back to prison. Wait, your goofy ass actually went to prison? It was only for a day, but he did. It was the worst day of my whole life. Is it because you got beat up by that dude you trash talked to? Joe, you still believe that? Your time has come. Train stations are Man, I'm on a roll today. You're really railing the competition, Barack. Hilarious, but how about you give me that railroad, Barack? I can make it worth a while. What do you mean by that? Gross. But I'm definitely not trading with you, Trump. Why would I ever give you my railroads? Because unlike you, Obama, I, the greatest businessman, will know what to do with these properties. Just like you knew how to handle those bankrupt businesses? Shut the fuck up, George. No one was talking to you. And no one here wanted your garbage ass opinions, but you still open your mouth. Goddamn, George, you're going nuclear on his ass. You know what? Forget trading. You guys are now my enemies. So it's another presidents versus Donald situation. Well, challenge accepted, you obese pumpkin. Just so you know, guys, I still want fair trades. That's fine, George. Let's just put Donald's ego in check. Don't worry about that, Obama. His ego is about to plummet today. Whatever happened. Shit, I have to go, guys. I need to prepare my plan of attack. You better call Secret Service, Joe. Looks like Trump wants to storm the Capitol again. He may even dive bomb a plane like they did with the Pentagon. Oh, fuck you, George. Well, I'll see you later, guys. I hope this debate isn't complete ass. Don't worry, Barry. Just believe in Kamala. She'll beat Trump. I hope so, because if not, his ego will skyrocket.